Hello guys, welcome back to our introduction to our data analysis to Excel series. So in this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and generate the final report. So we have prepared the report so far. Now we're going to uh, create a, a report, the beautify the report for the users to be able to use. We're going to go ahead and learn the concept of our user-friendly report design. So let's go ahead and get started with it. So the first thing I want to do is to change the values of this. So I want to, uh, these are very, a lot of values. So I want to show like uh, K for a thousand or something like that. So I want to go ahead and select this one right here. I can go ahead and select, uh, let me just start with this one. Uh, so I can just go in there and then select this one right there, right click after left clicking and then click on value uh, value field settings and then go on number format, go on custom and then in here we're going to go, we're going to change general to custom. So we're going to start with uh, let's say 0, 0.0, k. So this is going to make it a thousand add k in front of it. Okay, so if you press OK and then press OK right there, so you can see we have this value generated in form of a thousand. So I want to add a, maybe a dollar sign in front of this to, to indicate that it's a dollar. So I'm going to go ahead and right, le left click again, click on value uh, value field settings, go in custom, and then in here I'm just going to go ahead in here and just press uh, add in the dollar sign and then space and then add the numbers right there. So this is 0, 0.0 uh, comma and then K. Okay, and then press enter. So they press enter again. So you can now you see you have the dollar sign in front of it. So let's do the same for this one as well. So click on this, go right here, uh, right click, left click rather, click on value field settings, number format, custom, and then in here we go ahead and add in the dollar sign. So dollar sign, and then 0.0, .0 comma, and then K. So you can use capital K or small letter K. Uh, it doesn't really matter. So just press OK. So OK. So now you can see that format has changed as well. So let's do for this one as well. So just scroll up. It's called MSS, uh, MSR pixels. Click on that, field settings, uh, number format, custom. Uh, in here, just change that to be dollar sign and then 0.0, .0 comma and then K and then press OK. So OK as well. And then also you want to do the same thing. So this is going to be profit and loss. Uh, profit and loss. You can also customize the percentage if you want to, but I'm just going to leave it like this. You can customize it to be just one decimal place if you want to. Let's try to do that as well. So click on this one. Uh, and then you can go ahead and click on number format go ahead and click on percentage you can say one decimal place and press ok and then press ok so now you can see you have only one decimal place right here so now let's go above and uh, let's do this one for profit and loss as well so click on this one uh, custom custom number format and then in here just say the dollar sign you want the dollar sign and then 0, 0.0 sorry the dollar sign and then uh, 0, 0.0 and then comma and then k okay and then press okay so okay as well and then we have that so in here we want to do the same uh this way this way and then press number format custom then in here just go ahead and say uh, the dollar sign and then space 0, 0.0 comma and then k so this is 0. Uh, 0. 0.0 comma and then k and then press uh okay so we have that as well so once we have that let's also do it for the last one right here go above here right click left click click on value of uh, number format custom uh, and then dollar sign 0, 0.0 comma k so that's done and then press ok so that was a bit repetitive but now we have all that report uh, formatted properly so once you have this formatted properly you can go into page layout so if you go into page layout you can see the information right here so go ahead and click on this uh, and, and then click on land uh, land uh, skip and then press ok ok so now once you have that you can go into view and you can uh, view the report in uh, basically you can click on page let me just see you can turn off the grid if you want to you can turn off the headings if you want to i'm just going to leave it that and i'm going to say page layout click on page layout so you're going to see it and how it look like in a page in case you decide to print it so this is how you're going to look out look like in a page when you decide to print it so i don't like the formatting of this so i want to go ahead and change the formatting of this uh, cell a bit uh the font rather so i'm going to go ahead and go into pivot table go on to uh, action section go and select go on uh, entire pivot table and i want to change the home i'm going to go home and then finally i want to change the font so once i have this font i have here called call uh code code here and then it's called you yeah code here you upc so i have this format already uh, in my head so i'm going to use that formula right there so once i have that formula implemented what i want to go ahead and do is uh, i can go ahead and then just say i can just go ahead and just change this one a bit i can say name of customer i can say customer name so i want to change that to be customer uh name just like that and then uh i can have that there so good so this is this is basically our report so i want to add some uh some formatting to this so for less loss and uh 
profit and loss account uh, for the sorry profit and loss column i want to add some conditional formatting so you go i can go in here and just say uh let me say say the data scale uh color you can add different things to it right here so let me just go ahead and say uh, let me just say add new rule so i can add new rule and i can just say uh selects all, all columns so just select the last option right which have all sales showing profit and loss value for customer name so once i have it i want to go ahead and change the coloring a bit i want it to be blue okay this uh, i can change the command uh, i can go into more colors and then uh tune that as much as i want okay so i want to blue like this here so far that's fine so i'm going to press okay and then in here i'm going to go ahead and select put in the low value so this is going to be percentage and i'm going to put in the lowest value so this is going to this is actually going to be a number so i'm just going to say a number just like that and then just press ok so you can see you have that formatting right there so you can see that formatting right there. that's how you can apply formatting to it let's say that you also want to apply some formatting to this seller so you can go to conditional formatting uh there are different formatting that you can apply let's say you want a new role so let's say color scale um you can go ahead and select this one let's see yeah but now you have to apply this to all this so let's click on this one go to conditional formatting go to manage rules and then select this one right here and then say edit rule now you can go here and edit the rule okay so you can change the color between the the different skills so i'm going to have this and i'm going to apply this to all uh columns showing profit and loss for customer name and then press that option and then press ok and then press ok so we have that option highlighted for all that column so there's a different ways you can do formatting and there are different formatings you can do so let's go ahead and try to apply one more formatting right here for the sales profit uh msrp profit you can just go ahead, uh, formatting and then go ahead and say data bar and you can select this data bar right here and just add that so just go ahead and select it again select this cell right here and then go into uh, manage rule and then select this one right here edit rule and then select make sure you have this option selected and you can press ok and then ok so you can have that formatting place here as well so you can have that formatting here so you can change the color if you uh, desire to so that's basically how you can press uh, make a report and uh, format the report in a good way so once we have all that then you can go ahead and actually customize the columns if you want to but i'm just going to leave everything as it is because it all fits on an a4 paper so you can see it's an a4 paper and all fits properly and if you go up you can see you have a header so you can give the uh, data a uh, column by uh, the header uh, header title if you want so i'm going to call this one uh customer customer performance uh report just like that and i can go ahead and uh, uh, go into home and then make sure i can change the format let me just change it to 28 uh that's that's a bit big but it's fine and i can go in here and in here you can go ahead and add an image but first of all i want to reduce this is too big so i want to put this around 22 yeah and then I want to go ahead and add in an image as well. So to select an image, I just click on this one and then go into headers and footer and then go into pictures and then select uh, from this uh, computer or from this file and then select insert. And that's going to go ahead and insert the image right here. So it's going to insert the image. So let's give it some time for the image to pop up. Okay, now the image has just shown right here. It's, you can see the image is uh, oversized. So I'm going to go ahead and select this one right, go into headers and uh, headers and footers. And I'm going to go ahead and format image and I'm going to reduce this about 30%. Okay, so I'm going to change the size to about 30%. Okay, you just have to experiment. I've already done the experimentation and for me 30% works fine. Or you can just go ahead and select and just say 35%. That also works and then press OK. So as you can see now the image is resized and all that. Okay, so that's basically how you can uh, resize the image and uh, do that formatting. So that's, that's basically how you can do the formatting of the report. Again, you can adjust the column sizes if you want to can go in here and change the different uh, sizes if you want to yeah you can do something like that as well so change all that size if you want to and yeah that's basically it how you can generate the report you can just customize these cells to make sure uh, they are best fit for your report so once you have that done uh, you can decide to go and export this to a given file yeah uh, to sorry, a pdf file or any file format that you want uh, the, the you want the report also in here i'm going to uh, go ahead and add in here a filter i'm going to call i'm going to say filter filter uh in form of text basically like that so i'm going to say filter that's basically it so once i have that implemented there i'm going to go ahead and uh this all these filters will still work as well so i'm going to go ahead and say file and you can go ahead and say uh print and you can go ahead and see how it's going to look like whenever you print it out so you can just go ahead and say print and then say hit on print and that's going to go ahead and you can put it on your desktop you can just say uh tutorials tutorial let me just call it tutorial a report okay so you can call it anything you want and just press enter 
that's going to generate that file for you so if i go in here and go on my desktop i can just click on it and you can see the tutorial report right here uh, generated properly well formatted right so guys that's basically how you can generate a report add different images format the report properly and all that so that's all uh that's all for this series actually this is the last video in the series we just did the uh, user friendly report generation we we'll able to generate the reports uh, that's uh, friendly so if you're if you're working in a business or a company and anyone requests for this report you can go ahead and send the report to them just like that so that's all for this video guys again if you enjoyed the video make sure that you like the video you subscribe to the youtube channel and you share this content with anyone who you think my friend is helpful thank you guys thank you guys for watching and see you the next one keep safe